First up, we are out of the starter gates with week three of our Olympic preview series, looking at the game's latest edition, Ski Cross. In 2006, Snowball Cross was introduced to Olympic competition and went down a storm, bringing new fans to the games. For 2010, it's the turn of Ski Cross to take centre stage. The competition sees four skiers take to the start line and fight their way over a course featuring jumps, banks and rollers. People watching the Olympics will be super excited to see Ski Cross. There are so many people out there who still don't know what this sport is. I get these questions all the time. What is it exactly? How does it work? I think the Olympics also need young sports. They need young people. I'm pretty sure that it will be the big, big sports for the Olympic Games because uh, I know that in Canada they are waiting for this race. Uh, I know that it's new and I think it will be a big, uh, a big TV show. Ski Cross first entered the spotlight at the 1998 X Games and the sport has rapidly evolved since then with the level of competition improving every year. From the beginning it was like um, marginal sports, like with all the rebels, uh, bad boy, uh, people who organized the ski cross was like a small company. Many national teams are pushing the sport now and you have to be more professional. I think people train harder, they do more for the sport, more ski testing and all this stuff, you know, so it's getting super professional. Currently the cream of the crop is Offaly David. The French woman has won the last three X Games golds, six consecutive World Cup titles and the 2007 World Championship. As a former alpine skier, she experienced the thrills of Olympic competition back in 1994, but knows this time will be very different. Honestly, I don't think that my experience at the Olympics will help me for the next one because I think the Olympics changed since this time. And then I was there with no expectation. Now I, I will be in, in Vancouver as a leader, as someone who can win and all these things. So everything is so different, you know. I don't want to think that it will be like 15 years ago. 2010 ski cross competition will be so far removed from alpine racing that even with the world's best in Vancouver, when the start ramp opens for the Olympics, anything can happen. It's a strange sport because uh, we, uh, we have a part of luck. It means you can be first and somebody ski on your tail then you go on the net and you crash. You can start super well, but some guys uh, put a poles between your legs and you crash. A lot of things can happen. With ski cross races changing on the slightest error and at its inaugural Olympic appearance, the pressure will be higher than anything the competitors have felt before. For sure, it's gonna be super big pressure for the Olympics. I think that's the thing too at the Olympics that you can handle this pressure and do your best in this special moment. It's about 60 seconds, which will decide about who takes the medals. And uh, it's going to be tough, but it's a challenge, and I'm, I'm looking forward to be there. When the first ever Olympic ski cross race starts on February the 21st, the world will be watching the freestyle sport into the mainstream. But the stars won't forget the reason they're there. I would like to win. <laughs> But to be honest, first of all, I would like to be proud of me, just say to myself, okay, you gave everything, you know, no regrets. I was a player, maybe I was not the best one today, but you know, I was, I was there. A French guy said, like, I think it was Coubertin said, uh, the most important is to participate, but uh, I don't think so. Olympic Games, when you win, this is the only race where you are like the king of the world for four years. And if you're second, you will be uh, the star for two weeks or three weeks and after it's finished. Then uh, you have to win. And I want to win.